What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing karma of the rising signs of Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So this is going to be the completion of the karma of the rising signs, but in future videos to come, I will go into depth into each and every one of these rising signs once again. Just to give you a little bit more information. So let's go into Aries first and foremost, right? So if you have Aries rising on your first house now, your most significant past life was associated with Pisces. Okay, so this definitely is going to indicate that people that have um, Aries rising right now, in their past life, they were very, very spiritual people, okay? So in your previous life, you were likely extremely spiritual and deeply introspective, living a dutiful life in service to other people. So these people were being of service, um, being healers, um, being the person that you can count on. Um, your Aries rising says, you are ready for new beginnings, learning to live a life that is free and independent, where you serve yourself, not others. So your challenge would be to avoid being too selfish. Okay, so yes, in this lifetime, these people are going to have a me first attitude, um, a I am attitude. Like it's all about them kind of attitude in this lifetime. And the reason for this is because in the past life, they were giving up their selves time and time again in sacrificial kinds of ways. And now the universe is giving them that lead way, giving them that break to just chill the fuck out and just be able to focus on their selves. But now the thing that's going to be a challenge for them is to not become selfish, okay, behind doing these things. So your karma is to avoid being a victim, okay? Being a damn victim of circumstance, okay? Don't play that role. You may have been a poet, a mystic, a priest, a healer, a shaman, or even someone imprisoned or battling some type of addiction. So we already know that Pisces has to deal with all of these things that we just actually just stated okay um could have been a pastor a bishop um could have been very poetic okay and, and things of that nature very mystic magical um into magic casting spells um could have went to jail all right in and out of jail battling addictions sex addictions drug addictions um alcohol addictions okay in a past life we're moving on to Taurus now. This is for the Taurus rising people. Um, some may call it Venus rising. Okay, Aries rising is um, actually Mars rising if I didn't say it. So let's jump into Taurus. So if you have Taurus rising on your first house now, your most significant past life was associated with Aries. So you are coming out of a life of having been aggressive or even a fighter. So, yes, the people that have Aries rising, Mars rising in this lifetime are going to be very much aggressive and they are fighters. They're not backing down. They're speaking up. They're speaking out. Okay. If you want to fight, then let's have a fight. If you want to debate, then let's debate. That's how they're going to be. Right. Okay. But now these people that have Taurus rising. Okay. They are moving on, okay, and kind of trying to leave behind this aggressive fighting nature, but it's still within side of them. You have to remember that with this, okay, just because you're a Taurus rising doesn't mean that this shit automatically just is going to be like that. No, you already have Aries still embedded in you, okay? So in this life, you're initiating creative, um, sorry, in this life, you are going to be a creative person and even a bit impulsive in your drive to achieve material success. Enjoy um, comfort and also sensual 
pleasures of life. So these people are going to be more um, materialistic in this lifetime. Um, they're going to care a lot about money, their appearance. Um, they're drawn to actually beautiful things. Okay. Their homes can look very beautiful as well. Um, great taste in foods. Okay. And I'm talking about like expensive, expensive cuts of meats and things of that nature. All right. Um, good sex. Not that whack as sex. No. They are connected to the five senses, right? What is it? Five senses, six sixes, whatever the hell it is. They're connected to that. So you may have, um, these people may have been a warrior in a past life, a general, or a successful merchant running their own enterprise. Now, these people with Taurus rising, their karma is to avoid being domineering, okay? Um, Trying to always be in control of every single damn thing. Um, but for the most part, um, yes, these people are drawn to beautiful people, beautiful things, um, even pleasant um, areas. Okay, a disturbing area that has a whole bunch of chaos, a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah, the tourists rising people are not going to enjoy that. It's going to make them feel away and very much uncomfortable. Okay, so let's jump into Gemini. Gemini rising, Mercury rising. So if you have Gemini rising on your first house now, your most significant past life was associated with Taurus. So in that life, you had an earthy nature and were consumed with sensual desires. You are now looking for a life that is mentally stimulating. And what you'll notice with the Gemini rising people, um, they're very um, intelligent and very much intellectual. They are sapiosexual, so they're drawn and intrigued by other people's minds. These will be the type of people that can definitely have partners, okay, that are very intelligent, very bright, and also know a lot of information, okay? That's one thing I can say with this Gemini um, rising thing. They come across people like this. They enjoy it. They have to be with somebody that knows um, they shit. Okay. So filled with interesting experiences that keep you engaged. This is what they need. So they do have to avoid losing your ground nature, your grounded nature. Avoid losing your grounded nature and becoming volatile. And also flaky. You have the opportunity to be a great, strong communicator. Through teaching, writing, or some intellectual pursuit. So these people's karma. Your karma is to avoid being too rigid. You may have been a painter, a musician, a gardener, or a wealthy business person in the past life. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on this note for now. And future videos to come, I will go into more depth into all of these placements. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell every single time so you can keep getting notifications. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all the old subscribers. Okay, I do have a new channel as well, y'all. It is a cooking channel, and it is called Good Vibes Kitchen. And it is by Supreme Royale Catering, which is my catering business. Okay. Um, please check that out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can keep getting notifications. As of right now, don't have any videos for it <laughs> yet because I just started it like three days ago. But I will be um, giving out my little recipes and different ways on how you can um, prepare and cook your meals. So that would be something that you guys probably would enjoy. And I would appreciate it if you do just subscribe and Take a look and see what's going on and things like that. Yes, I get it in, in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm a chef. Okay, so anybody want to book a reading, please hit me up. You can email me or you can text me on my phone number. I'm going to have everything in the description below so you can have that information. Anybody want to donate, please feel free. Anybody want to take the six-week course, please sign up for that. Okay, it is $1,000 for the six-week course. So... This has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace, and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.